Andrew Tate on People's Obsessions. I've been trying to work out why. Why is everything going even more perfect than it normally goes? And I think I've come to the conclusion. I think I have worked out what it is. There are only so many hours, human hours. It's 24 hours in a day. It's X amount of people. Times it together. Some mathematician can do that. Those are the human hours. I think there are more human hours being dedicated to me now than has ever been in history. Whether the people like me, dislike me, doesn't matter. There are more human hours dedicated to the name Tate than there has literally ever been. Ever. And a lot of people like me. There's also a lot of people who don't like me. And I've realized that the people who don't like me cannot stop being obsessed with me. There is more people out there in the world, hundreds, probably thousands of people sitting there just thinking, Tate, 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 I hate this guy, Tate, Tate, Tate. But they're saying my name. They are burning calories in real time dedicated towards me. The hours of their life are dedicated towards me. They are feeding me my ascent towards world conquest as I climb the white path towards Udon is being aided by their endless obsessions. They can't stop it. I know it's like a bit of a cliche saying, living rent-free in someone's head, but it truly is rent-free. I'm getting millions and millions of dollars worth of advertising per day for free based on my haters making videos, trying to explain to the world that for some reason I travel the world, not even arrested, I'm fine. It's people traffic around me in jail, right? So I don't do anything wrong. They know their lies, but they stick with their lies and then they sit there and try and convince the world I'm a really bad person. What's interesting is when they make these videos, 100,000, let's keep the numbers simple. 100,000 people watch it. 90,000 people blindly agree because that's how the world, the world works. 10,000 people do. Well, who is this Tate guy? Everyone keeps talking about him. Everyone keeps saying he's so bad. Let me have a little look. And those 10,000 people who come to their own conclusions and have a little look into me, they watch my videos and they sit there and they say, you know what? He actually seems quite smart. Well, he's actually right about that thing. Well, I don't agree with that, but he's clever about that. That's true. Well, actually, if you look at the reviews of Hate You, a lot of people do seem to be making money. Fuck it, it's only $49, let me give it a try. And before you know it, a percentage of my haters audience are now part of Hustlers University or the War Room, right? They'll sit there and say, the War Room's a cult and Hate You's a scam. But the more they say that, the more people join and find out for themselves that neither of those things are true. It's not a cult and it's not a scam. Neither of them would have gotten as big as they've gotten if they were those things, right? It would have been possible for me to, it would take more energy and more effort for me to fake the number of positive reviews I have than just to create a quality product which people positively review. Doesn't even make sense. So people end up joining and going, you know what? This guy's the real deal every single fucking time. So it's really amazing to me that someone's gonna wake up in fuck knows where, somewhere in America probably, have no pussy and have no life. Because if they had a life and they had pussy, they wouldn't be obsessing with me, right? That's how the world works. If your life is good, you're apathetic. Apathy is the true natural human state. I'm apathetic to people. Someone would go, hey, this guy said bad about you. I don't care. I don't care good, I don't care bad. I don't watch the video. I've got shit to do. People will say, this guy made a new video. Don't watch it. I'm in my roles with my, I'm about to get on the jet. I got shit to do, right? I don't care, right? I'm very apathetic to all of this. I care about my people, my students, my business, keeping us going on. So I'm very apathetic. The fact they're not apathetic to me shows that their lives suck. Because if their lives didn't suck, they wouldn't be obsessed with me. So they're going to sit there. There's someone out there who goes, I fucking hate this Tate guy. This Tate guy's a fucking scammer and a people trafficker and I fucking hate him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the next seven hours of my life editing a video about Tate. As if that gets me. And in the video, they'll say, well, I edited it to say he's bad, but I don't watch it. And a percentage of the people who watch it, who have a brain, do a little bit of investigation and realize I'm not bad. So how do I lose? I lose because some dork who I don't want to be friends with said something bad about me. I don't want to know these people. I don't respect them enough for their opinion to hold weight. I don't give a shit. If they were to come to me in the street and say, I think this of you, I'd say, but you don't matter. You don't matter. So I don't give a fuck. I don't care. So it's truly amazing. There is more calories, more human hours, more time, whether positive or negative, being dedicated to me than ever before. And my ascent has been accelerated. I will state right now, the smartest thing my haters could do is never mention me again, but they can't fucking help it. I put a video out. The internet is obsessed with Andrew Tate. They can't help it. They hate me so much that they sit there and go, I am so angry at this individual for being the man he is, that 
I, I have to make another video. And in this video, I'll edit it this way. And this will really get to him. And then he'll get upset and his empire will crumble. What planet are you on? The empire is not gonna crumble. I'm not gonna care. I'm not gonna watch it. More people than ever will join. My ascent will continue. All you are doing is accelerating my endless conquest. It's truly beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. I have one worry. I worry that the people who dislike me get intelligent enough to think making videos about this guy is doing nothing but helping him. But I can rely on the fact that everybody's a fucking moron. Not only are they stupid, they're also extremely emotional. And I have control over them because when you can emotionally affect somebody, you control them. They can't emotionally affect me. They can't make me happy with the video. They can't make me sad with the video. I'm apathetic. I can emotionally affect them. All I have to do is go on the internet and say something obvious like women can't drive. Duh, everyone knows it. Every guy says it, it's fucking obvious. And they have a mental breakdown and they'll do a 12 part video series trying to disprove me while I don't even watch the videos. I just continue with my life and they will sit there and dedicate their YouTube channels to me for free. No, actually, the statistic. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful world. We can't be stopped because they are emotionally controllable like the putty in my hands. I think Tupac said it. I might be wrong, but I think Tupac said it. No, Nate Diaz said it. If you don't like what I do, but you watch everything I'm doing, you're still a fan. So who owns the internet? Shit. Pop G.